Hello. At the time of this recording, it is actually a Tuesday, but this is going to count as a Megan Monday video because I'm going to flash back in time and show you my entire day of eating and training yesterday. This is the one week update from my video last week, episode eight, where I talked about the concept of a mini cut and said that I was going to start a two week um, cut, slight cut in my calories as a way of dropping a little bit of body fat, getting faster, working on my conditioning, and just trying to be a faster athlete. So I did two days of tracking at 1900 calories and felt great about it. And then for, I just had a terrible workout on Tuesday. I felt so slow and so sore and just got really demoralized and it got in my head. So I just want you to know that that is normal. It happens to the best of us. I'm a nutrition practitioner and a fitness coach and I have to stay disciplined in my mindset as well or it will affect my behaviors. That's why mindset is so important. That's why we work on it so, so, so much with my private clients because mindset is what will determine how you behave generally. So I got demoralized after my terrible workout on Tuesday and I didn't track my food on Wednesday. I know that I didn't eat nearly enough protein, and so I know my food was off, my training was off, I, I stayed up late. It changed my behavior because I got demoralized after my workout on Tuesday. What I should have done, and what I later did, was take it as a lesson like, and change my expectations. So every workout, I'm not gonna go out of the gate breathing fire and setting new PR records. Like I know that, my left rational brain knows that but it affected my feelings, it affected my, my irrational, emotional self. And so I started acting in accordance with those thoughts. So once I kind of got a hold of myself, I was like, this is silly. I would have been so much better off had I just dialed it back and done a way stripped down version of whatever my workout plans were for Wednesday and Thursday and still gotten some sort of training in and still tracked my food. And if I needed a little bit of extra carb or if I wanted a treat or if I wanted to have a glass of wine, just fit it in. That's what I should have done. But I let demoralization um, get me off track. I know we've all been there. So then we left for a trip. We went camping and we were gone for a couple of days and we I, I always pack all healthy food anyway. So I ate plenty of protein, had plenty of water. I still was on my pretty good habits, but again, I wasn't training. So I got two real workout, aside from my regular daily life movement, I got two real workouts in last week. And that is not going to get me to Valor Games, which I have just now realized that I did not tell you, decided to participate in. So I am training for the next five weeks for Valor Games. I'm not going to be in cut calories for that five weeks. That's way, that's too little energy for me to ramp up my training volume, but I am gonna do at least one one week because I didn't really do it last week. So for the last several days, I have been doing it. I've just been hitting my 1900 calories dead on. I've been hitting my protein goal dead on. I'm trying to get 120 grams of protein a day minimum. Yesterday I got over 150 grams and still stayed in my calorie bucket. Um, I and You'll see that as the video progresses and um, hit my fiber, which means I'm eating plenty of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, supporting my digestive system and my hormones. So I'm on track, feeling great about it. Um, and you're gonna see kind of how the whole day progressed, flashing back to yesterday. On Mondays, I teach a 6 a.m. boot camp class down by the water, and so I have to leave my house at 5.20 a.m. So I just, I don't have time for coffee. I don't have, like, I'm not interested in food. I just drink water. <laughs> and then I get home from my class, like around 7.20 or so, and Eric usually has made a pot of coffee. Um, so that's waiting for me when I get home, and we sit on the couch and talk about our day and have coffee together for a few minutes. And now, since I'm training for Valor Games in a little over a month, um, I need to make sure that I do not miss um, a training session. And so the most predictable time for me is gonna be to take the 8.30 class before I coach the 9.30 CrossFit class. I don't wanna work out on a completely empty stomach, but also not on a um, full stomach either. So I poured what was left of my coffee into a protein shaker and I did two scoops of whey protein with um, probably six ounces of coffee because I'd already drank some. Um, and then this is about four ounces of almond milk. So this will be a quick absorbed, quick, quickly absorbed protein source um, that my body can hopefully use pretty quickly. And also some caffeine, kind of like a pre-workout stimulant. And then for after, I'm gonna want some pro, oh, and I also had half of an apple. So this is the other half along with three um, turkey sausage links by Applegate. So those three links I will eat after the wad, 
workout of the day and that'll get me 11 grams of protein and six grams of fat plus the other half of my apple so it's probably not perfect in terms of like what I would want macro wise um, <clears throat> for pre and post workout it's probably a little light actually on calories for both but um, it was the best I could do <laughs> in a pinch so you want protein and carbs before your workout and protein and carbs after your workout and then fats throughout most of the meals for the remainder of the day for blood sugar maintenance and satiety or feelings of fullness so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I got going on for training today all right so this is what we're warming up for now it's gonna be a 20 minute AMRAP so as many rounds uh, as possible in that 20 minutes of 20 wall balls 20 power snatches 20 box jumps 20 push press and then a 14 calorie row um, and they wrote it in such a way that they want us to try to get two and a half two plus to four rounds so that would be if you got four rounds that would be five minute rounds I think that's a little aggressive for me um, so I'm gonna be shooting for that two plus range um, I'm gonna do the RX weight for the wall balls which is a 14 pound ball for women because that's what I have to do in the Valor Game competition I'm gonna scale this barbell it's the RX weight is written to be a 55 pound barbell for both power snatch and push push press I'm gonna scale it down to 45 just by 10 pounds so I can cycle a little faster and work on my heart rate and conditioning. Box jumps I'm gonna keep at the RX height of 20 inches for women because again, that's what I'll have to do in Valor anyway. So we'll see how I do. I'm doing a mixture of RX and scaled. arm is so shaky. <laughs> I'm so tired. It was a lot of overhead work between the wall balls and the push presses and the snatch. It's a lot of overhead. My shoulders are spicy. Here I'll show you like you see at the bottom of the board. I don't know if that's backwards to you but I remember I told you I was shooting for two and a half to four. I can see my phone shaking. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but my first the clock said 1330 the end of my first round so that means I did it in six and a half minutes and then it said 5.30 at the end of my second round, which means I did it in eight minutes. So quite a big drop off. Six and a half minutes for the first round, eight minutes for the second round, and then I had 5.30 to finish um, however many reps I could get in that amount of time. And I wanted to get the 20 wall balls plus the 20 snatches, so I wanted two plus 40. That was what I was shooting for. And I got that, plus 20 box jumps. So I got two plus 60 and then I just like ran to the barbell and squeaked out two little push presses. <laughs> so I finished with two rounds and 62 reps. Pleasantly surprised with um, today's training so far. I'm gonna coach the 9.30 class and then um, do some stamina squats as the accessory work or the finisher at the very end and uh, go eat my breakfast. Rolling out.
morning now, time to eat a very large meal because this is my post-workout meal. So I want approximately 30% of my day's carbs to happen here. Um, and I, the way I have my calories broken down, uh, my goal for the day is around 166 grams of carbs. So 30% of that would be like roughly 50-ish in this meal. We just have a bunch of leftovers from um, Eric cooking in very large batches. For dinner last night, we had his parents over and he cooked. So I have a lot of bits and pieces to make like a rice and veggie and chicken bowl left over from dinner. So I will flip the camera around and show you how I'm measuring it all out. All right, so we roasted a bunch of veggies, zucchini, squash, cherry, tomatoes, boiled a bunch of rice in the Instant Pot, roasted a bunch of Brussels sprouts, and then um, he smoked several large um, chicken breasts. And this is what was left over after feeding six people last night because we had his parents over. And I've already made lunches for Eric um, and the two kids. So there was quite a bit of meat that he had already prepared. So. I am going to measure out six ounces of cooked rice and then figure out how much veggies I want. Um, put that all into my fitness pal and I generally do four ounces of cooked protein. So I'm gonna put all that together on the scale. So that is what six ounces of cooked rice looks like. That is what approximately 150 grams of cooked zucchini and squash looks like. And now I'm going to add my cooked Brussels sprouts. Let's see what that turns out to be. I had some cherry tomatoes in it as well. I'm just gonna disregard that. All right, that's 30 grams. Almost, almost 50, exactly. I'm gonna stay there, 50 grams of Brussels sprouts so I can leave some for other meals. And then I'll add my chicken and heat this bad boy up. Well, my scale battery is low and it keeps going off, so I have to change those. I did happen to see that when I did one little chicken tenderloin, it was at like 1.87 ounces. So I did another chicken tenderloin and we're just gonna estimate that that is approximately four ounces, maybe a little less of cooked chicken. This is my favorite condiment from Trader Joe's, spicy cashew butter dressing. Really simple ingredients, where are they? Water, cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, coconut aminos. Cilantro, red chili paste, maple syrup, salt, some xanthan gum to keep it emulsified, and crushed red pepper. Really, really clean ingredients. Ooh, 106. Better eat this soon. All right, so let me see if I can get my scale to stay on long enough to measure out 30 milliliters of dressing, which is two tablespoons. Ah. Ah, too much, but that is, I'll just log what I ate. Perfect. Hey, so it's four o'clock in the afternoon now after I ate the rice and veggies and chicken for lunch. I actually felt like unsatisfied, like still kind of hungry after that huge bowl of food, um, which leads me to believe that the food that I had eaten in the morning around my workout was far too little in calories in general and protein and fat in particular. Um, so... I knew that I was gonna have some some catching up to do. So just by the fact that I was still hungry after that amount of food. Um, but I got busy and like, I probably should have eaten something a little sooner, but again, I don't really like to overload digestion. I kinda wanna give my body a chance to work through it and not overeat in one sitting. So um, I just kind of was focusing on my tasks and kept working. So now it's four and I really, I. I had eaten about 900 calories up until, including my breakfast and lunch, out of a goal of 1,900, so I have 1,000 calories left for the day, and I certainly don't wanna eat a 1,000 calorie dinner. Um, so I, I was gonna have to eat two more times anyway, so I just went ahead and made a high protein snack with some low fat cottage cheese, and normally I am not a proponent of low fat dairy, but in this case I wanted the protein grams, and the lower the fat, the higher, uh, the higher percentage of that food can be protein in dairy. Um, so we, we buy low fat yogurt and low fat cottage cheese in addition to high um, full fat yogurt, full fat cottage cheese, full fat sour cream, regular butter. Um, I put half and half in my coffee in the morning. So we use a variety of um, fat ratio dairy products. Um, but so this in particular was low fat cottage cheese, um, about a half a cup of pineapple. This is what my bowl looks like so far. 
Once I was about halfway through with the cottage cheese and pineapple, I checked on my um, macros in my fitness pal, and I was only at 11 grams of fiber for the day, which is pretty low on a goal of 25. I didn't think I could make that up in um, in dinner alone, and so um, the highest the highest fiber food I could think of in a low volume was chia seeds, and I have plenty of fat grams left for the day. Um, I have it set at 40% um, of my calories, so out of the 1,900 that I am eating per day right now, that gives me a goal of about 84 grams of fat per day, which is a nice number for me. Um, so I had, I, I think I've eaten about 50. No, that was after the chia seeds, so I had plenty of room. Um, so I did two full tablespoons of chia seeds, you can see in the bowl that it looks like quite a bit. Um, and then I also have plenty of room left for carbs, and so I added um, some additional honey honey to the pot. So it's a half a cup of pineapple, oh, like two thirds of a tablespoon of honey and two tablespoons of chia seeds with a cup of low fat yogurt. So my current macros right now after these three meals are, um, I, including this, once this has all been eaten, I'll be at 1266. Uh, I'll put the macros actually up on the screen. And then what you're seeing here is that I, after this, will have eaten 1266 calories out of my goal of 1900 for the day. Um, I will have had 108 grams of protein out of my goal of 119. I will have had 112 grams of carbs out of my goal of 166. I will have had 50 grams of protein or uh, fat, sorry, out of a goal of 84. And fiber, I'm at 20 out of 25. So that leaves in my remaining calories for the day. I'll need to eat um, an additional 634 calories, 11 grams of that coming from protein, which I will probably eat way more than that. So probably 20, 25 grams will come from protein. So I'll go over for that today and that's totally fine. I'd rather be over than under. So um, 11 of it needs to come from protein. I will, I'll eat over that. Um, and then 54 grams can come from carbs and 34 can come from fat. So whatever I go over in protein will come from probably a variety of those two buckets just to keep me in my calorie range. So I'll just steal a little bit from either carbs or fats or a combination of the two to make my calories equal out and I need to get at least five grams of fiber. So I'll watch, I'll make my vegetable and fruit and nut and seed choices accordingly. If I have more white rice for dinner, that'll be a wasted carb, a wasted opportunity to get fiber. Um, so I may do something different. So anyways, that's where I'm at so far and I will keep you posted. <sighs> I did 20 intervals of 30 on, 30 off. Even though I really did not want to do it, it's late, I'm starving. It was cold out here. I just want to get in the shower and snuggle with my family. Whatever, it's only five weeks. I have a goal, I said I was gonna do it, so I did it. What can I say? Let's do this. So there you have it, I was pretty happy with yesterday. I hit my calories at 1879 on a goal of 1900. I ate four times, felt satisfied, pretty much all day. Um, I ended up with 157 grams of protein on a goal of 119, so that's quite a bit over, but I consider protein to be a minimum goal anyways, so I don't really ever mind if I go over that, um, especially when I'm increasing training volume like I am right now and working on a fat loss goal. So the more protein, the merrier, in my humble opinion, as long as I'm supporting digestion and getting plenty of the other macros to balance it out. So you'll see because I went over in my protein grams, it makes sense that I would go under in some of the other macros. Macros. So I pretty much hit carbs dead on, 162 on a goal of 166, that's perfect. And then my fats were a little low, so 76 on a goal of 84, but since I had so much protein yesterday, then that makes sense that it would balance it out and be a little low on the fat side. And I just won't do that intentionally, um, but if it shakes out that way, I'm fine. As long as I stay in my calorie range, hitting my protein, getting within a within a you know pretty tight window of the carbs and fats that I set for myself, staying hydrated, um, getting fiber in. I actually went over my goal of 25. I ended up adding pumpkin seeds to that rice bowl at the end of the night um, and just feel like I kind of balanced all four meals in terms of plant content and got a fair amount of fiber yesterday. So, and I got my two training sessions. So I am pleased. I will update you next week if there's been any change with um, body fat, like scale, well, scale weight and um, measurements. 
Um, and also just how my training has been going and how long, if I'm gonna continue on the cut calories of 1900 or if I'm gonna reverse back up and get closer to 21. It sort of depends how this next week of full volume training goes. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you have questions about what I'm doing or how it could possibly apply to your life, you're probably not training for a CrossFit competition, but you have your own goals, I'm sure. So let me know in the comments how I can help and if there's any way I can steer you towards applying this to your own life. Make sure that you like this video. That's how I will know what kind of content speaks most to you. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and that you've hit the little bell icon to get notifications so you'll know every time a new video is posted. And once again, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time.